Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This message is for Pisces and Pis Pisces rising for the month of April 2019. So the cards that it is I pulled for you are Sensitivity, the card of Sensitivity. From the Nature Speak, we have, or the Nature Oracle, we have Lily, Time of New Birth, and Holly, Be a Spiritual Warrior. And then from the Rider Weight, I'm seeing the Five of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Ace of Cups. Now the first thing that it is that I'm seeing is that Pisces, you are known for your sensitivities, which is a good thing. I always saw that as a good thing because you're the one who can connect with usually more naturally and faster than the other signs when it comes to connecting with vibrations, with what is good, with what is maybe not so good or what you don't need to invite into your life. And you are known for being more affected by your environment and the energies of a room, the energies of a person. That's what makes you so special and that's why a lot of times it's like you're kind of like the black sheep in the family where you kind of, it, it, you have a hard time kind of fitting in because people can't relate. But that's not why you came in to watch this video is to hear, you know, about you know what it's like being a Pisces, but I just want to remind you that that's your strengths and that's ultimately what it is that I'm seeing for you for this month of April is you working and calling in those strengths for yourself. The reason is is that something in the month of April, it's either a hard yes or a hard no. I see you needing to really stay in a space of discernment and being very uh, particular about and aware and conscious and respect and respond to what it is that feels right and what it is that feels wrong. In fact, the hanged man is the card within the tarot deck that reminds you that maybe no action right now is the best action or before you make a decision, sit with it for a minute, allow yourself to feel it out before you dive into it, before you do. And that's ultimately what is that I'm seeing here. If you are saying yes to anything and anyone, you are, it's, I just, I don't see it being a good thing. Either you're draining your energy or you're signing up for things that you know you probably shouldn't say yes to you, or you're saying yes to things that you shouldn't say yes to, or you're saying no to things that you shouldn't be saying no to. You have to, connect with your sensitivity, go into that hangman pose where instead of forcing it or instead of moving forward, allow yourself a moment to reconnect before you make a decision, before you decide. And when you allow yourself that hanged man moment of seeing things, you know, kind of canceling yourself or removing yourself from making an executive decision in that, at that moment in time, it allows you to connect with, does this resonate with me? And if it doesn't, it is a strong no. And that's the thing that it is that I'm seeing for you, Pisces, is that when you, when you, when you, when we're talking about spirituality, a lot of times people look at this, the spiritual world, and they say, "Oh, well, spirituality is so open and so nice and so pleasant." that we start to see and paint spirituality as saying yes to things and being passive, when in reality. The other half of being a spiritual person and working with your spiritual self and working with protecting yourself is by clear, having clearly defined boundaries and saying a hard no and a very firm no to things that it is that you know you should not be saying yes to. So it could be a lot of competition around you. There could be a lot of people around you that are pushing you to do something that is that you don't want to do. Maybe you feel that with, from within, but either way, no one calls the shots but you. And tech, in reality, what's happening is that your spirit, your, your vibe, Pisces, is telling you that something is off. And for that, you have to push back or just say no. You don't get to come in here. You don't get to uh, cross this territory. You don't get to cross this boundary. My anger or my frustration shows me that some a line has been crossed and that I need to say no to this. Again, if it's not a hard yes or a, an obvious yes and if the answer doesn't, you know, feel good to you or if the if a saying yes to it doesn't feel good to you, then Pisces trust yourself when the answer is no. 
Now, you saying no to something actually opens the door for what it is that you should say yes to. And you'll know that it's time for you to say yes to that one thing because of how it makes you feel. So don't feel bad when you are being called in the month of April to use discernment and to draw some lines of boundaries that people can't cross or saying a clear, no, 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 that's not what I want. You don't have to be rude about it, but definitely be firm and forward and say, no, 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 no. I think that there's a lot of people too that might be around you fighting for your time and your attention and trying to get you to look at them or whatever it is. But ultimately, or maybe you are trying to prove yourself. Maybe you are trying to I, and the word just came through overextend. I don't know why, but I don't want you to overextend. I don't want to pull yourself and stretch yourself too thin. That's why it's very important that you know, you're know you being very mindful about what it is that you are agreeing to because whatever it is that you're agreeing to will actually open the door that will require a lot of you because there is this new birth. There is this new venture, this new something that's going to come in, but it has to resonate. It has to be right. It has to be good. And then you can give all of your time and your energy into fighting for it or working for it without being depleted in return. Okay. So I hope that that makes sense. Pisces, if you love this video and you want to see more, go ahead and give it the thumbs up. If uh, oh, go ahead and turn on your notifications and make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you see this video and all the other ones. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.